Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double my honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well. Being great examples to his younger brothers in peace and blessing and salutation and hopefully out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shah pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopefully the believers and listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Alright. And I just want to go into a lesson, you know, to how anti Messiah, you know, mindset is at all time high. Okay, the anti-Messiah mindset that dominates this current earth, you know, under this beast system is at an all-time high. You know, the pride of people in the earth, men and women from the rulership, all right, down to the lowest nigga in this empire, okay, has a mindset that's completely anti-Messiah and completely proud, okay? There's a heavy lack of fear of Yahweh Bashim al Shah on the earth. Okay? There's a heavy fear of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, Yahweh Shah in the planet Earth. You know, and this is why the Lord is going to allow things to get, you know, this is, this is why the Lord has the worst time coming. <laughs> Alright, since the earth was made. Because pride is at an all time high. Okay? The disrespect. You know, the the, 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 the no fear, okay, is at all time high. And this is the anti-Messiah society that um, 1 John 2 and 19 goes into. It says, little children, which is speaking to the elect, okay, it is the last time, all right? And as they thought, you know, the, those times of pagan Rome, you know, because they was anti-Messiah, there was an anti-Messiah society. Okay, and they thought you know judgment was coming then, but now we know that this that last time, this is that generation of the Lord. All right, is going to open up in judgment on, going to open up in wrath, no doubt about it. It said, "Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard, the anti Messiah shall come. Even now, are these all right? Even now, are there many anti Messiahs?" Whereby we know that it is the last time. Okay? Whereby we know that it is the last time. Alright? And this world, you know, as we see, you know, is falling more and more to that mindset. Okay? Of anti-Messiah. You go here. Okay? Which you go into the Greek. There's anti-Christos. Okay? Which goes to the adversary of the Messiah. Alright? You go into this word. All right, break this word down this um compound word. Okay, you deal with the word anti. It goes into over, against, or opposite to. And this earth is rooted, this society is rooted in being in complete opposition to your how about your mouth shot. Okay, the way people eat. Okay, adultery. You see, alphabet. Okay, women being out of order. Everything about this Messiah, this uh, society is completely anti-Messiah. Okay, the exact opposite. People get a kick out of doing the opposite of what the Bible says to do. Okay, and they double down on the things that the Bible <laughs> says don't do. Okay, and Yahweh Shai even spoke about that. Alright, because here it is and this is how you know. All right, this is also the hypocritical people, okay, whom the Lord, you know, is going to send, okay, a, a, the rod of the Assyrian, man, 
you know, which is the rise of the Lord's anger, you know, modern day, you know, American, you know, the Edomite, the military of Esau, Edom, okay, the sword of Edom, which is going to be un unleashed on niggas, man, but you go here, this is the book of Luke chapter 6, okay, in verse um, 46, it says, and why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say, okay, and our people, you know, they're, they're, they're the biggest Bible-thumping Christians. But when it comes to the obedience of the scriptures, there's no more, there's no more, there's more, there's no one, so like you, that's more rebellious to the scriptures than the black nigga Christian, man. So-called black nigga Christian, man. Their whole stance is geared and, and centered on, all right, rebellion against what's written in the scriptures. Okay, they hold one of their main arguments of the Hebrew Israelites against the Hebrew Israelites is, you know, eating pork and shrimp. Okay, eating pork and seafood. Okay, and everyone being saved, which is both of those are completely anti-Messiah arguments, man. Okay, completely anti-Messiah arguments. If it's against what's written in the Bible, it's anti-Messiah. Okay, because people think of anti-Messiah as you, you know, standing in the middle of a pentagram. It's on fire. Okay, holding the baby goat, you know, with a bat head in your mouth. And when they think of anti-Messiah, okay, or what this world calls antichrist, that's what they imagine. No, if you're a woman that believes in feminism, you're anti-Messiah because that's against what's written in the scriptures. Okay, if you're a nigga that boasts in adultery, okay, you're anti-Messiah. Because that's against the scriptures and what's written. You're celebrating these pagan holidays. That's anti-Messiah because that's spoken against in the, in the scriptures, man. Okay, and then we know the majority of the earth is under, okay, that, uh, that mindset and that enchantment of anti-Messiah is heavy. Okay. Now, this was made of, um, this video was inspired by a video done by, um, uh, Elder, all right, the beloved Elder Brother Yashua Wamba, all right, GMS Dallas, all right, his channel is Remnant Save 144, subscribe, and be edified, okay, and this is, you know, this is cute amongst our people now to pretty much get on the internet and say, all right, and, and, and post anything, you know, to type and print anything and the worst thing that ever happened to you niggas was the camera phone all right and you niggas have power sin upon sin okay now you go to the um i guess this is tweet and it says moses all right a dirty bee for picking up two roaches and putting them on the ark like a real funky ass bee and you can tell him i said that Okay, so this is the boldness, and I believe this is a woman, which the nigga woman is completely out of control. Okay, she is a real animal on the loose. Okay, the majority of the nigga women are real animals that's on the loose, no jokes. Okay, she's no different than a leopard. Okay, roaming free in the city. Okay. She's completely out of order and off the chain, man. Because that's a whole nother, you know, subject. And really, it's a closed chapter. You know, if you have to be warned about uh, 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 the nigga woman, okay, in November 2024, all right, you're, you're behind as hell, man. Okay, if you have to get pulled to the side and told about the nigga woman, where have you been? Okay. But at the end of the day, and and they're goddamn idiots, man. Because she's speaking of, of the account, all right, of the flood. Okay? Because Noah, you know, he was told of the Most High, you know, to, um, pres you know, to gather animals, you know, to preserve, okay, the animals. Because the Lord was going to flood everything. So there was animals that were saved for the fact, all right, for the sake of procreating and filling the earth. With all the species again that was created from the beginning, which everything that was created from the beginning had a purpose. Now everything is out of order, 
you know, as Elias Woman was going into his lesson, you know, roaches shouldn't be in the house. Okay. But roaches pretty much turn filth into nutrients, you know, in, uh, 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 in the wild. Okay. And roaches are mainly amongst what you filthy niggas, man. You know, which hey, we all, you know, a lot of us grew up, you know, underprivileged and we grew up in houses and, you know, we've seen roaches. We had to live amongst roaches, man. A lot of us, you know, come from humble beginnings. Okay. Well, ultimately they're attracted to filth. Okay. And a lot of times, you know, when you come, you know, we can only afford houses that have been, you know, um, uh, you know, on you know a rent it you know by niggas so you go in you know his roach is already there okay when you go into a roach in this natural element which other y'all should one but went into it all right it has benefits okay for the wild where it pretty much can turn filth okay into nutrients and spread it throughout the wild for other animals man okay so our people are so goddamn simple and dumb they don't know how anything works outside of taking selfies and doing some dumbass challenges, going to a club, celebrity beef. Our people are experts in everything that don't matter. You know, you look at our people and how they operate and what their mind is fixed on. It's a, it's on everything that don't matter. Who got who pregnant? You know, some baby mama, baby daddy drama, some stupid shit, man. You know, and this is why they so goddamn dumb. This shows you how out of touch they are with the scriptures. And she's speaking about Moses. Two different eras, man. Okay? It doesn't even speak about Moses being on the boat in the scriptures. <laughs> you see? Two different eras. But that's how far removed our people are from basic understanding of the Bible. Okay, and that's why there's so much rebellion because they our people don't know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Alashaja, terrible demon like power. Okay, because here it is you go into their store, you should get the fear of the Lord out of their store. Okay, and then she comes back. All right, with this, you know, and, and niggas think they so goddamn cute, man. Niggas and a nigga woman think they so goddamn cute. With this, with this, with this madness on the internet, man. Okay, it says sources close to me, and this is her correcting her comment. So sources close to me have informed me that it was Noah who was the trifling um, A B. Okay, don't even want to speak that you know associated with our beloved forefathers, man. You know. And this is the generation of no reverence for any goddamn thing, man. This is the generation where the Lord is going to unleash his wrath. There's no doubt about it. Okay? I got all chips in the middle of the table. That this is that generation, man. Okay? And it says, My deepest and sincerest apologies to Moses, Moses and his family and... All right, at this time. All right, some stupid internet shit, man. Okay, but this is just a society. Okay, and our people is just in the all out rebellion. Okay, against their power. All right, and the Lord, you know, he he's finna get on the offense. You know, as everyone, you know, he's getting their shots off and they laughs and they giggles and they likes. Okay, which, you know, the internet has made it cool. To be in open rebellion against your how about Shema Shai. You know, and this is why the Lord warned Ezekiel not to be like these niggas, man. This is um Ezekiel 2 and um 7. It says, And thou shalt speak my words unto them, alright, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. Okay? They are most rebellious. And this is describing you niggas. And see. Your rebellion doesn't has any effect on us. Your rebellion is on you. See, you gonna have to deal with that. Okay. <laughs> See, 
See, so whether you here or forbear, the elect going to be the elect, get mercy, get delivered. Okay? Your rebellion has nothing to do with the mercy that the Lord is going to show, okay, his elect. Okay? You going to have to deal with that, man. You see, Jacob's going to have to stand on everything they've been saying, every idle word. Okay? This is verse 7 in NLT, Ezekiel 2 and 7 says, You must give them my messages, whether they listen or not. But they won't listen, for they are completely rebellious. And see, the scripts say they are completely rebellious, man. Okay? And we know, all right, that, um, uh, that there's a majority of our people that's not going to get it. So this is why we're not here bending over backwards and trying to figure niggas out why they don't get it nah man we speak this word we break it down in the simplest form that we can according to our portion and if a nigga can't get it we moving on man okay it says but thou son a man hear what i say unto thee be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house okay open thy mouth and eat that i give thee okay so you uh you niggas with this madness and this rebellion you know we're warned not to be rebellious like you niggas man and you go into the word rebel rebellion and what does it mean it says rebellion it's an item online that says war waged against a government by some portion of its subjects okay a war waged against a government by some portion of his subjects okay and this is what all right we're seeing happening on a mass scale is it says and it says originally especially against the most high all right because ultimately the, the, the government that's coming to the earth is the government of you how about shima Shai, and you have those that are in alliance in agreement with that government that's to come and are already submitting and conforming to that righteous government that's to come. And you have those that are bucking up against that government, man. Alright, and that's why that government is coming with great wrath. Okay? The government that's getting ready to come to the earth is coming with great wrath. It's coming with great mercy. But it's also coming with great correction, man. Which is going to be in wrath and punishment, man. Okay? All these saying that niggas got, well, the most high, all right, do your howl shot finna pop out and show niggas, man. Okay, all these saying that niggas got will be performed on these niggas, man. Pulling up, slide, spin again, big step, all this finna happen to these niggas, man, in the Lord's wrath, man. Okay, this is a rock. Um, 16 and 12 as his mercy is great and we, that's what we're fighting and praying and hoping for man so is his correction also he judges a man according to his works he judges the man according to his works man okay and this is where we at man and we're getting ready to see the Lord judge these people according to their works in their rebellion, man, was there in the all-out rebellion? You know, and it's going to be bad for niggas, man. And we're not going to feel any type of way, man. All right? Got this precept, of, you know. It's been fresh on the mind. So I get this. Okay, this Proverbs 9. You know, we can get ready to end it here. This Proverbs 9. And, um. Let's see, what was it? Yep, Proverbs 9 and 12 says, If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it, man. So it's cute now. The scorning and mock mocking is cute now. Just as this wisdom is, 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 you know, enhancing us, who we are, how we move, how we operate, our belief, our peace, everything, you know, is being enhanced. You know? As we, you know, get wise in this word, man. Okay? 
But as our people, you know, magnify their scoffing, okay, the Lord is going to magnify his wrath. Okay? So, hey, we'll see, man. <laughs> All right, we'll see. All right? And then and we're going to see this behavior until judgment and just, you know, the Lord's wrath, you know, just, just really settles in the earth, man. Okay? So that's the point, you know. Just want to get into that, Lord, will you, brothers, and you sisters, edify to the next time I say shalom.